So in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new sets inside in Sketchcation Tools 2. So sets are available either in the Extensions Manager or the Plugins Manager. And the Plugins Manager allows you to disable and enable plugins either permanently or per session. So here you can see these are all the plugins I currently have loaded on Stacked Up and I've none disabled. So let's go ahead and disable some plugins. Disable these three, and that's it. Next time I restart SketchUp, these tools shouldn't load. So here's the mirror tool, there's the roof tool, and here's the weather tool. We'll go ahead and restart SketchUp. So as you can see, the roof tool is gone well tool is gone and our mirror toolbar icon is gone and if we go into plugin extensions we can see they're still in a disabled state so what we can actually do is save that state out call it whatever we want add and that's it now if we put these back into an enabled state And add another set and click apply to our original set you can see it has disabled and if we click apply on all it re enables so you're actually able to save out loadouts so at any stage you can build up loads of custom plugin tool sets plugin loadouts click add um, pick a few tools, disable them, enable them, select your thing, select your, your set, click update and this loadout is now saved. You can do exactly the same in the extensions manager. We have sets here too. So this is a really powerful feature that allows you to create your own custom loadouts to help you have a more refined modeling experience in SketchUp. Um, you can also export, so you can select something and export it. So if you wanted to send a colleague who has the same plugins as yourself, you could send him your particular model and set. Or likewise, you can import. So this is a really powerful feature in um, Sketchication Tools 2. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks.